case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1993 case Collins v. Commissioner, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit ruled that all income, including illegal gains, is subject to taxation according to the law. The case centered around Mark Collins, an employee of Off Track Betting, OTB, in New York who was found guilty of grand larceny for placing unauthorized bets using OTB's money. As a result of his actions, Collins was sentenced to probation, community service, and fines. Additionally, the United States Tax Court held him liable for unpaid taxes for 1988, as his theft of racing tickets from OTB constituted gross income. Despite Collins arguing that the stolen tickets had no economic value, the court rejected his claim and asserted that the fair market value of the stolen gambling tickets was the appropriate measure of Collins's taxable gain. The unauthorized bets occurred when Collins, unable to resist the temptation to gamble, punched his bets into his work computer without having the funds to cover them. As a result, he accumulated $80,280 in betting tickets, which he could not afford to pay. The court ultimately affirmed the tax court's decision finding that the fair market value of the stolen gambling tickets determined Collins's taxable gain for 1988. His total taxable theft income for that year was calculated as $38,105. The court also upheld the tax imposed on Collins's embezzled income and cited Supreme Court cases supporting the taxation of illicit gains, emphasizing the importance of fair administration of tax law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.